Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Boomer and I are going to be doing a solo slash duo, I guess we can call it, overnighter here in the forest. Now, many regular viewers or old time viewers will recognize this exact location from where I used to live before I moved off of the mainland Nova Scotia over to Cape Breton Island. This is actually the last location that I camped at with my friend Mike before I made that move. So I've come back here to experience this beautiful location right next to the lake on a cloudy, cool, rainy day in late summer. I got Boomer here running around having a great time and the tent set up, everything's ready to go right now. So I'm excited for the rain to come back tonight. Fingers crossed it comes back because I think Boomer will really, really like that as well. So what we're gonna be doing right now is I've got my twig stove set up. I do have a couple of cooking items and pots and pans and stuff. It's coffee time, so I need to go collect some birch bark twigs, get that fired up, grab some water out of the lake, get this little rascal some food and water, and start on a coffee and enjoy the afternoon out here in this beautiful, rainy, cloudy day.
All right, guys, I've got my hot cup of coffee on the go. Boomer is a little tuckered out right now. He's gonna take a bit of a nap. There are spotty clouds in the sky with a little bit of sunshine, but it is off and on with a really, really fine misty rain. And looking off in the distance with the clouds coming this way, it's gonna be nothing but gray skies all day. Fingers crossed, I'm really hoping for rain later on. So I've loaded the twig stove up with some punky pine and spruce pieces to really start generating some smoke. That is helping getting rid of all the mosquitoes around here for now. However, I do have a new piece of gear that I picked up. It is a, basically it's kind of like a thermocell. So I do have a thermocell that takes the little butane canisters and the little pads and uh, you basically fire it up and it heats up, it emits a fume and it gets rid of all the mosquitoes. So that's from thermocell. This is actually from Nightcore. And the interesting thing about this is it does take the pads just like the thermocell and they are interchangeable actually. Uh, but this runs off of battery power. So there's only one consumable piece being the pad and not two consumable pieces that you have to bring with you or purchase again, which is a butane canister. So this is a battery bank and you can use it for charging your phone, headlamp, all kinds of things like that. But it also gets rid of the mosquitoes with the pad. Uh, so it has two features on it. It has an ultrasonic feature and a heating feature. So you can actually e emit like an ultrasonic sound. Um, I'm gonna have to do more research on that to figure out exactly what that's going to deter. Uh, but I know these pads will work. So I'm gonna be firing this up for the first time later on this evening. I'm getting smoked out right now. Uh, but right now the smoke is rolling. So if it does start to rain and the bugs are still out, I'm gonna switch over to this guy um, and fire it up and see how it works. I'll let you guys know on this trip. So I did bring that, but for now, breaking some pieces of wood here, little twigs, firing them in there, getting them warm and dry because it is fairly wet out here still. And who knows, maybe later on tonight if the rain does hold off, I can utilize some of this campfire wood that's already been broken and split down from the previous people that camped here, get that in the fire pit and have a nice fire out here. But if not, we'll roll with the rain because I do love rainy days and camping out in the forest. It is just such an awesome experience. The mist coming over the lake, the fog, the, the just everything, the smell of nature, the sound of the rain on the tent, everything. So yeah, just to bring you guys up to speed with what's going on now, coffee, I do have another piece of gear I'm gonna be trying out, smoking myself out. So cheers guys, I'm gonna relax here for a little bit and then later on I'm gonna start on supper and I also have some interesting food items I wanna share with you guys on this adventure as well. So cheers and stay tuned. everybody it's much later in the day now the rain has held off for now but I don't think my luck's gonna be there for too much longer because I could feel drops of water and I could hear it kind of bouncing out of the trees and I could also see a wall of rain coming this way so I'm gonna start cooking supper right now but before I do that I want to bring you guys into what I brought for food 
This is actually from a company. No, this is not sponsored. Uh, they did send this out to me though, and I think this is really kind of cool because they have vegan options, classic options, vegetarian options. Now today I went with the classic menu. Just gonna read what is in it, and uh, it's really good stuff. I gotta say, it's really, really good stuff. So I'm just gonna read off this particular meal. Uh, it's one person, one day, so it's all the food you need. This particular one has 93 grams of protein. 2,500 calories, and the net weight is one pound, seven ounces, 641 grams. And it even includes a really nice bag with a drawstring, a carabiner at the top. So this is reusable. This is from Right On Trek, okay? Now, the menu I have today, hot breakfast, comes with cheesy mushroom egg scramble, crackers, and coffee. Lunch and snacks is beef jerky, crackers, cheddar cheese, dried mango, energy chews, dried fruit bar, energy bar, and granola bar. And then hot dinner is chicken alfredo pasta, chocolate bar, and hot tea. There's a lot of stuff in here, guys. So from right on track, this is the meal kit number two that I'm going to be eating today. Um, I'm probably going to save most of my snacks for tonight, but as I'm saying this, here comes the rain. So I only have the twig stove with me. I'm not going to be lighting a campfire tonight. I think I'm going to hold off. And uh, it's, it's quite warm out, but... It, it's, it's cooling off, but it's not cooled enough to have a fire is what I'm trying to say. And I do have the insect repellent, the mosquito repellent device if I do want to use that. So if it starts raining really heavy and I can't keep the twig stove going, I'm not going to worry about it. So I'm just going to get that water boiled up, get it ready for my, what am I having here? Chicken Alfredo pasta, which is right here. So the chicken Alfredo pasta is 115 grams, four ounces. It is freeze dried, it takes seven minutes to cook. Um, pretty basic stuff. So I'm actually gonna be eating this. I'm gonna put the cheddar cheese stick in it. And I may even go as far as rehydrating some of this beef jerky that they've put in the pack and add that all to that and have that as, uh, as my meal in the 750 ml pot. So. Everything else I'm gonna save for later on tonight. I do have the, oh, you know what? Maybe I'll save the cheese for the egg scramble. That's what I'll do, I'll save that for the morning. And there is coffee, tea, a whole bunch of other things in here. Everything you need, which is just super convenient to grab a bag and just go. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be doing tonight. Just wanted to bring you guys into this because I get asked often what I'm cooking, what I'm eating. This should help you guys out on what I'm eating today. So, like I said, this is the meal kit number two from Right On Trek. So let's get cooking.
All right, guys, it's been about an hour and a half since having supper inside of the tent. The rain did stop and then it came back. So it is currently misting with rain right now. It did actually pick up quite heavy while we were inside of the tent. So I don't know what it's gonna do later on tonight, whether it's gonna pour with rain or not. The sky is solid gray, so I'm loving this kind of vibe. So I did decide to come outside. I have the Nightcore mosquito repellent turned on right now. So that's gonna start emitting some smoke. And I've also decided to go ahead with the campfire. All that wood over there from the last people is just begging to be burned and it's not raining totally heavy right now. So why not just throw it in the fire pit, light it up, get some smoke, get some heat coming out of here and just enjoy a little bit of that campfire vibe, which I've been itching to do all day long. So what I might do is take advantage of this campfire, get my pot and my cup uh, back on the fire, boil up some water for morning. That way I have it ready for coffee. And if I do need a drink later on, I could do so. But I'll probably do that later on in the evening. Right now, I just want to kick back, relax. I did bring one cold drink with me in my backpack. So I'm going to go and grab that, bring it out here, and probably just, you know, relax out here with Boomer. He's over there digging a hole right now. And it's just that kind of time of the day where the light's fading. It's soon going to be nightfall. It's time to relax, guys. So campfire mode. Let's get that cold drink and relax and enjoy this fire for a bit. All right, guys, coming inside of the tent right now. It is starting to rain very, very lightly. Boomer is falling asleep out there next to the fire pit. So the fire is crackling a little bit right now. I'm just going to let it do its thing, keep an eye on it. Once this lights off, I can actually see the glow underneath of the rainfly and through the rainfly, which is always nice. Uh, I see you're getting a second burst of energy there. Hopefully that doesn't last too long because I'm actually pretty tired. So Boomer likes to play a lot, but when he gets tired, he gets tired and he falls asleep until morning time. So hopefully after he's done playing here for a minute, he'll be to sleep and I will be right behind him for a nice long night's sleep, hopefully with some rain. And then up early in the morning for some coffee and hopefully some beautiful bird sounds in the trees. So we're going to be inside of the tent all night and I'm basically ready for bed. So we're going to say goodnight to you guys. Peace out and we'll catch you in the morning for coffee.
Good morning, everybody. It is a beautifully quiet, sunny morning out here on the edge of this backcountry lake. I've got the twig stove rocking out some heat, a little bit of smoke too. I'm going to talk about the bugs in just a moment though, but right now I basically I just got coffee on the go. I'm not going to be doing the scrambled eggs this morning because I ate everything else in the tent early this morning. The fruit snacks, the crackers, the, the granola bar, I ate all that in the tent way early this morning. So I'm actually going to save that for another adventure which is going to be today. Today I'm actually going out on a two day adventure. More on that in upcoming episodes though, cause I'm gonna be filming everything. So right now I've got the twig stove going. I put a little bit more coffee in my cup. I'm gonna bring that up the temperature. Should probably give it a little bit of a stir just to make sure I'm not burning my coffee. So let's talk about the bugs before I bring you guys into what happened last night. So here I am using this Nightcore uh, mosquito repellent. It is set to outdoor. There's two hours left remaining on the battery. Unfortunately, I have not been able to get this blue pad to smoke like the thermocell does. So I'm going to have to do a bit more research on this when I get home. Maybe go through the manual, message Nightcore, check out some videos. I'm not even sure if this is available right now. They sent it to me basically to have a before it was launched type deal. So I don't know. I'm going to do a little bit more research on that. It is 45% charged right now though. So it should be smoking, I would assume, just like the thermosel, but I might be wrong. It might not smoke. I don't know. We'll find out more on that. So that's my little bit of information on that product. The food was excellent from right on track, so that was really good. Coffee is uh, its probably good right now, actually. I could probably take that off of there. Boomer is off to the side right now, chewing on a stick. He's having a blast out here, guys. He loves it. He absolutely loves the outdoors which is really cool. He's got like this, this tiny little growl whenever something goes bump in the woods and he just growls and you know, you gotta look every time to make sure nothing's there, but uh, it'll become more predictable as he gets older. So I'm just gonna give a little bit of uh, oxygen in this. A little bit of flame, cut down on the smoke while I'm sitting here. So last night it rained and it rained and rained and rained and it was awesome the tent was pitter pattering with rain i could hear the droplets actually hitting the lake dripping off of the trees landing on the edge of the lake uh boomer fell right to sleep he loved it and i was not too far behind him actually guys i was pretty pretty tired doing all this stuff hiking in here i gotta hike out and like i said starting another adventure today uh two days in the bush no info on that because it's going to be an interesting one first time on the channel so definitely check out those two days coming after this adventure so I'm going to finish up my coffee and it looks like it's going to be a blue sky, sunny day today, which is going to go perfect with my plans. And uh, yeah, I'm basically going to start up the pack up process. I just wanted to make sure I give you guys the information on how this product worked. Uh, the food was good. Everything went really well last night. I got my rain, so that was really awesome. And uh, yeah, bring guys up to speed. So coffee, pack up and then hit the trail. Helping? Are you helping? Are you gonna pack the, the sleeping bag away? Or are you gonna get packed up with the sleeping bag? What are you trying to do? You don't want me to pack it up? Yeah? You gotta pack them up. Watch out. You sit right there. See the sleeping bag later tonight, okay? Alright everybody, everything is totally packed away. 
Boomer on my lap here, covered in mud, wanting to say goodbye. So we're gonna say peace out to you. Backpack's loaded. Now I gotta get the camera gear all packed inside of there. And we are going to start our adventurous hike out of here and start day number two, going into day number three, and then eventually going into day number four. So four days on this adventure of filming and uh, all will be a video. Do you wanna sit down right there? Oh, can you fit? Good boy. All right, so peace out, guys. We'll catch you in the next video. Thank you for watching this one, and check out all the other videos on the channel if you're interested in more hiking, backpacking, winter camping, all kinds of things. The channel is loaded full of diverse content, and even more surprises coming to the channel very soon. So peace out, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.